by sellers? Were you surprised by the houses when you went in of any condition or the looks or how to see them or anything like that? Some of them were definitely really well prepped uh, for somebody to, you know, because it's your <laughs> fresh set of eyes. Yeah. So you have things when you're selling your house where you're just used to seeing your house and then it's yeah. fine, but when you have somebody brand new looking at a house, then they have a different perspective, which is usually you don't have the real perspective. Right, right. Or perspective on reality. So we, um, there's some houses that you knew that, you know, they had a really good agent and they, they, they made them clean up the kitchen. There was, it was painted and clean. Um, I mean, those floors were like shiny. And yeah. they, but does that really matter? So Did you care does, if the wallpaper yes, was absolutely. old or? Of course, absolutely. yeah. It's Why? Like, well, uh, it just uh, it makes you. I, th I think it even makes you wanna buy the house for a little more money. Yeah. Anyway, when yeah, it's if done, it's, if it's um, not not so much run down but not well maintained, right? Because you, you, you wanna try to get a better price. It gives you, and at the same time, when uh, it reflects on how you, at least for me, it reflects on how you treat the house, right? Is that. Mm -hmm. If I'm seeing a really good house, a quality of the house, that, that you know, it's not run down, it's being maintained, it then it gives like me a sense, maintained. yeah, or it looks like it's being maintained. You, you think it's being maintained yeah, it's all the time. <laughs> but, but you get, right. at least for that moment. Yes, in time. <laughs> but at least you get a sense that, um, you know, that they cared enough to mm -hmm. actually, um, you know, put, put some money into the house and, and, and care about who's going to go into it or mm -hmm. who sees it. Mm -hmm. um, and that I think is is a good sign of um, you know it could just I mean, be the way it's marketed. But yeah, it's very simple. Like for I mean for this house, I forgot about the other houses, but we had to put little uh, things to cover our shoes. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that they want to keep the house clean. And yeah. then, you know, it's, it's not it's still mm -hmm. only in the details, right? But mm -hmm. just that fact that means that they do maintain the house and they want to make sure that it's not messed up by, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of buyers looking at yeah. the houses, so I, I left that level of detail. And I don't know if we got that from anyone. Well, we got but it it's... from, we got it from that one guy who is like, um, remember, uh, he's, he, he was like, and it's probably much better when the owners are not there. Oh, that's the yes. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to yes. meet the owners. You don't want to meet the owners. <laughs> <laughs> because then sometimes they get... Yeah, it's awkward, and then sometimes like we went to that one with the guy was oh, there. That's right. That's right. That's yes. right. Uh, we we yeah. only said five minutes. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we feel like okay, we're being we're lost. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and we're, we're interrupting. Interrupting, and then you know you kind of go or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was eating, so it's much better that you don't see the. the yeah. whole it doesn't even thing. matter if you kind of like the house because it kind of threw you off completely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like automatically you're like going to buy this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember that house too. Now. Yeah. What would you tell sellers, you know, about getting their home ready? You know, oh, for man. So the prep work. One, it would be ideal if you were not there. Okay. If you were, not to be in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I think definitely, if you're going to present something to sell, it should be presentable. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we went in, and some of the houses were messy. Um, and it just appeared as if no effort was put into mm -hmm. actually marketing the house. Did that matter to you as far as pricing or if you would keep it on the list or not? Definitely. Yes. I mean, because you want to try to visit yourself there. And I think we can look past certain things, but there are certain things that it's just like, we didn't even know if they really wanted to sell the house because wow. it was that bad. Yeah. Or like doors were locked, but it's like, but I want to buy it, and I don't know what's behind this door. Right, right. Yeah, we went into a couple of houses, and certain doors were shut, uh, and if we can't see the host, then how are we even to make a informed decision as to whether that this is the place for us? So, wow. you know, those are a couple of things to keep in mind. You sell the house, actually, you know, have it on display. Right. I suppose. I mean, mm -hmm. the last thing one would want is to be surprised when something doesn't look the way you think it should look. Mm -hmm. So even from a dimension perspective, um, yeah, I think make, so from a dimension perspective, be realistic because you want to get a sense of would my possessions fit into that space if you're moving with possessions, right? Um, I think the other thing that I would tell sellers, sellers also is neutralize your home almost. I know once you've made the decision that you're going to sell your home, 
you can divorce yourself from your bright green walls and you can divorce yourself from your the bright wallpaper. yellow cupboards <laughs> <laughs> or your wallpaper. Yeah. Because that's the kind of thing that when we looked at property online, and, and he mentioned it earlier, if you look at a property and you go, oh my goodness, that wallpaper is so busy and how long is it going to take us to remove it? And you know, we so wait a minute, the house may have had everything or looked like it had the bedroom and bathrooms that you wanted, but because of the wallpaper, you just were like, Ugh. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's human nature. It's hard to see past those kind of, those kind of things. There's so many shows where um, experts come in to help sellers sell and that's almost always one of the first things they do is neutralize the space um, mm -hmm. there, there can't be anything that's so extreme you want uh, you want your house to be a blank canvas exactly. for the potential buyer so that they can project or, or paint themselves into that space so you actually start subtracting money if you even go see the house right. or place exactly. in the first place. You're thinking about all the things that you're going to have to do before you can even feel comfortable with what turns out to be your major purchase. Exactly. Um, and how, how much time is it going to take? Mm -hmm. um, how much money is it going to cost? And overall, how much inconvenience it would be to repaint the entire property or pull up the bright blue carpet and mm -hmm. put down hardwood floors. So my advice to sellers would be, neutralize your home and give people a space that they can put themselves into as opposed to going, no, I can't, I can't look at that. <laughs> what about if the seller is there or if their pets are there when you oh, go yeah. to visit? It's very uncomfortable, I think. It's extremely uncomfortable um, to be in someone's space when they're there, right? Because you know you, you, you can't be overtly critical, so you, you can't tell your realtor necessarily um, I don't like this, or what about that, because the person is there. Mm -hmm. If pets are there, you, you're constantly kind of walking on tiptoes trying to figure out, well, I don't want to disturb their status quo, um, I don't want to upset the dog, etc., etc. We went to look at a property, I think, which was on a, on a holiday. I can't remember mm -hmm. what holiday it was. It was like it was a, a Monday holiday. Monday holiday. 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 Um, and we um, went with Bob in, into this house where the husband and wife were there and they had two dogs. Mm -hmm. And it was just really uncomfortable. So you had to navigate from room to room and let them leave, and then you go in, and then, you know, but they're always, always in the next room. So you're whispering, or you're just not saying anything, or you go, well, I'll tell you when we get outside. Right. Um, so right. it's a bit uncomfortable. So my advice would be please don't be there. It makes sellers uncomfortable, it makes buyers uncomfortable.